Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another one minute 270 showdown between one of the best players in the 270 community, George Fry himself, who's being played by Abraham Lincoln, and I am Barack Obama. I do have a Hillary vice president, so I do have a lead um, as far as the candidates go. However, Abe Lincoln is a formidable candidate himself. And George has been a thorn in my side in these 270 run tournaments. So this is a one minute timer. I thought about zero spending, but I'm going to go ahead and try thinking that we might clash. Um, he's actually going to open up into Florida. And so it is 29 to 29. And of course, Obama does work really well out of New York. Um, I'm going to open up in some African American, but also some swing states. So I'm going into Arizona, North Carolina, Virginia, and I'm deciding on if I should commit to a Rhode Island, or not Rhode Island, a um, New Hampshire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go Utah and Massachusetts to possibly get Town and Gown. There might be some clashes this turn. Um, let's see if George decides to go Ohio, Wisconsin, New, um, New Mexico. Looks like not, so he is going to low spend here. So we did clash in the swing states of Virginia and North Carolina. He does have a 100,000 cash advantage. Um, we could pip up and get Towning Gown this turn, but I'm going to try to prevent swing. So I'm going to go to the third pip in North Carolina. I'm going to delay getting Towning Gown. I don't think I can get it this turn, but... Just in case George gets cute and tries to go to the second rung in New York, I'm going to pip up one time in New York. I don't think George would do that, but just in case he does, um, sometimes these one-minute timer games are, are a bit crazy. So he moves up in Florida. And it looks like he's going to go in the Old South, Louisiana, Maryland. We do clash in North Carolina. So that's what I was looking for. Um, we do prevent the swing state bonus. Now, he could pivot. Um, my, I'm thinking about going to the third pip again in North Carolina. But I also could just go ahead and get Towning Gown. And if I'm able to flip Virginia, that could prevent the Old South bonus as well as the Swing State bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get... Dang, we, got a, we would have clashed North Carolina. Going to go ahead and get that town and gown bonus. I'm going to go ahead and skip the news. So we did steal Virginia, which will result in preventing bonuses for the time being. Now, he's uncontested in Ohio, Wisconsin, um, Florida, and New Mexico. So he can definitely get swing this turn. So it's not worth overspending in North Carolina or Virginia. If he wants to go that path, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and open up into Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Maryland to open up in high tech. And then just to get the the uh, um, appearance that I'm going to pressure swing, I'm going to pressure in New Mexico. It's super cheap. And he is going to have his eyes set on the African-American bonus. So he's opening up some states in the Old South. I am going to go ahead and use all of my town and gown, either in New Hampshire or Arizona. Arizona is definitely important. Let's go ahead and go to the third pip, um, see if we can get that high-tech bonus. And then that does leave me 150 k of town and gown. Do I close off Arizona? Um I'm going to go ahead and open up into a couple other African-American states. And then I'm going to go, yeah, I better close Virginia. So I'm definitely not 
um, closing Arizona, but we are going to see if he does go all the way. So we are able to hold it. It is a clash. So that's a big move for us. There's the high-tech bonus. And so now we are facing pressure in Utah. And by us going into um, other states, that might allow us to keep the town and gown. But the high-tech bonus... Um, We might want to, okay, we're going to go up in New Mexico, try to take swing. We've got 20 seconds here. What do I want to do with this high-tech money? Um, I did close off Virginia last turn. I could pip over to California, but I might risk it here and just go in a couple states. In the south, two seconds. Okay, so I might double-tap California, assuming that he doesn't come for me. I could have used it in Delaware. I definitely could have used it in Utah, but I think Utah feels like a bluff. And Arizona is safe. That's all I kept time on the rewatch for right now. He does get the old south bonus, but we do keep the high tech bonus. So we were not pressured. We now have 295000 of high tech money. 111000 of town and gown. And 346000 of cash. Definitely don't want to risk Arizona. 20 seconds. Swing state is safe for him. But I'm going to open up in the rest of the Old South states. I'm not there. And pretty low spend. I imagine that Lincoln will pip over to Texas. So there's 38 electors. Did it go? Was it Texas? It was. He single pipped Texas. So he can move up and get manufacturing next turn. I'm going to go ahead and one pip in California, but I'm going to try and steal Maryland. And I'm really going to make a push this turn for that African American bonus. Can go up in Tennessee and Illinois. I've got 20 seconds. I'm looking to go, or 20, <laughs> 24,000 left over, two seconds. This is a critical turn here. So it looks like Lincoln most likely went up. No, he did not. He did not go up in Texas. Okay, so that's huge for us. He did maintain Illinois. And he was able to flip Michigan. However, with us flipping Maryland and getting Delaware, we were able to hold on to high tech. And now we have the old south. So let's close off Louisiana. I'm going to leave Maryland. Although if I was playing, that would probably be the state that I attacked. Michigan we're going to leave. Gonna attack in Georgia to the third pip. I third pip passed. I was going two pips last turn. Keep it inconsistent, so I'm not predictable. Okay, so Georgia is a flip, and that's the news. No action. 400,000 for Lincoln to our 1 million. We are in the driver's seat. I'm going to try to flip Illinois. Go up in California. So this would give us Latino. Just going up one pip or so in each of the old south states. And I think I might hold off on uh, Maryland. I think I'm going to try to go up. Oh, I didn't, didn't get it done. I couldn't clinch Illinois in time. 
I'm going to sit on some town and gown money. And we'll just have to see what George does here. We go up to the third pip in California. He does lose four electors, and that is the Latino bonus. Definitely in great shape now. Let's go ahead and finish off Illinois. And then attack in Michigan. Finish off Maryland. Pressure Florida. And then I still have half a million. Preemptive defense in New York, in case he does do the cash push, cash saving move. And then we have 10 seconds, have plenty of money. I'm just going to let it roll over to the next turn. Okay, so he did zero spend. So we'll see if he's saving money or if he did actually forfeit. Yep, there it is. Well, um, shout out to George Fry. He's won countless tournaments. He's wildly regarded as the model of consistency when it comes to top pl players in the lounge. And this is one of the very few times I've been able to beat him. So thank you, George, for a good game. And until next time, I will catch all of you guys in the next 270 video.